Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over creating the Doppler effect. Now the Doppler effect is arguably the most recognisable and the most well known kind of sound phenomena I guess you'd say. And the definition of the Doppler effect is an increase or decrease in the frequency of sound, light or other waves as the source and observer move towards or away from each other. The effect causes a sudden change in pitch notable in a passing siren as well as the redshift seen by astronomers. And what we're going to be going over is the sound version of this. And again, their example was change in pitch, noticeable when passing siren. And one way you're most likely going to have heard this is if you're driving down the motorway, for example, you pass a car really fast and you can hear the pitch change as it passes you. It normally gets higher the closer it gets and lower the further away it gets. So this example I'm going to be going over is also a car. So if I were to just play and simulate this, you'll hear the car. As it goes past, you can hear the frequency and the pitch changing. So it's going to come back high down to low. Now this one is quite a strong effect. It wouldn't really be this strong in real life when it's going this slowly. I've just increased it so that it's very noticeable for you to hear, but I will be going over how to actually change how strong this is as well, so how much it will actually appear. But again, you can really hear it changing its pitch like so. Let me also just show you what it's like without the Doppler. So you heard there with no Doppler, it literally just went from the right ear to the left ear and now left ear to right ear, there's no change in pitch. So we're going to be going over creating this today. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. Now this is actually incredibly easy to do and it's just one node which is already built into the engine. So it will probably take me longer to just explain what the Doppler effect is as I just did there than it will to actually show you how to create it. So what we're going to do is we have our sound effect here which for me is just car engine. This is just something I got off of freesound.org so make sure you have your sound effect. And I will leave a link in the description down below to the one which I am using here. However, if you use this, you must credit the original creator. What I'm going to do is right click and create a cue from this. So we now have a sound cue of our sound effect and we're going to open this up. What I'm going to do in here is I'm also just going to change the attenuation. So I'm going to scroll down, override attenuation, scroll up, and I'm just going to increase this to about 5,000. Reason being is I just want to be able to hear this from a lot further away and we do need to make sure we do actually enable attenuation so that it is directional audio. That's also why it's in a sound cue. So this is now a directional audio, which again is very important to make sure that the Doppler effect works properly. You don't need it on, however, it will work a lot better. What I'm also gonna do is I just want to loop this sound effect. So I'm gonna go out and get a looping. You do not need to do that for this to work. However, I'm using a car engine, so I want it to loop. Now the all important node that you do need is just get the Doppler. It is that simple, it is a node already built in for us, simply called Doppler. And that's all you need to do. If you click on this, you can change the Doppler intensity, which is what I was talking about earlier, where I said I made it quite strong. I believe I set it to three in this example. You can obviously just change this and mess about with it to get the perfect value for you and what you want. So again, depending on what you actually want this sound effect for, you want to change that. So again, if this is gonna be a really fast car, you might wanna increase it. If it's just a slow car or you're just walking past something, you might want to maybe even decrease it lower than one. But obviously just change it for per to get it perfect for you. I'm going to save and close that. And again, that is all we need to do. The only thing I'm going to do now is just add this into my car blueprint so that when it moves about, it's going to actually hear it as well. So I go to the viewports. I already have the audio in here. So just add an audio like so. And once you've got this, you can just add the sound cue which we just created. I think our mine's just named car engine cue like so. You can see this is the attenuation which we have here. So I'll compile, save, close, and I'm gonna simulate this so we can hear it. And you heard it there as it went past us, we had the Doppler effect. So let's listen. As it goes past, you can hear the pitch actually changing. So it sounds like it's actually going past us. And this again, really just gives the illusion of depth. So you can actually tell that it has gone past instead of it just going from right ear to left ear or left ear to right ear. You can actually hear the pitch changing, which really just gives the player the feeling that it has gone past them. So I think that'll be it for this video, as that's all we wanted to do. Again, it's a very simple thing to set up, nice and quick, it's just one node, but I did want to kind of explain more about what the Doppler effect is, and kind of how it works, and how you can use it in your games to again really give the player the illusion of something passing them. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.